Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. My girl had actually sent me a package here recently with two knives in it, and I decided to split them up, right? Sometimes it's easier to focus on one thing at a time. I don't know what this is. I feel like this is probably a new model. We're going to find out together. As per usual, I will link this and other Migron knives down in the description for you guys to check out. If you've never checked out Migron knives, they bring some of the highest quality in the world to this price point. Right? I'm going to guess this is a premium one, but at this price point, Migron certainly doing some of the best execution out there. Um, so you can check that out uh, down in the description. It does help my channel and use those links, but that's entirely up to you. Thanks to Migron for sending this in. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All right. Let's open it up and find out what we're looking at here. They did not send me any pictures. They just said we've got new models. And Migron's one of those companies where I kind of, you know, it's it's like I've been saying. They they have been circling and a home run. In, they've they they have home runs in the budget department, but they've been circling a home run in their premium department for quite a while. So I'm at the point now where I just, you know, I, I feel like I almost have to handle everything. Because I, I don't want to miss it if they um, if they if they just absolutely hit the nail on the head. What do we got here? Is this oh, oh boy? We got some beautiful texturing right off the bat. We're they're kind of in that mode now where they're doing a lot of sl uh, slight variation from model to model, like slowly adjusting little tiny details of models. Uh, in the hopes of you know hitting something perfectly, at least from the perspective of a reviewer or, or somebody else. S90V, that seems to be the trend with a lot of this uh, new Migron stuff, which is great. I love that they're using S90V instead of M390. Why? Because you're sacrificing only a little bit of corrosion resistance, but it's still a stainless steel. I want to say S90V is 14% chromium, which puts it well within the parameters of, you know, what's required to be a stainless steel, um, whereas M390 is like 20%. But S90V boasts much higher potential edge retention while, in my experience, maintaining similar, if not slightly better, toughness. In my book, that is a better balance. S90V is also a more premium steel and costs more money for companies like Migron to purchase it from Crucible. Yes, this came from Crucible. No, it's not a magic Chinese S90V. No, S90V comes from Crucible, period, in the United States. What do we have here? Hey, 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 hey. This is pretty good. We got a good size forward toil too. A little bit, a little bit tight, but it's pretty good. Um, yeah, ooh. Migron getting much better with their out-of-the-box action here. Hmm. That's a good looking knife. Certainly, uh, they're not like, you know, it's like I always say that this this is no reinvention of the wheel. Absolutely not. The detent's all right. It's a little bit, I like a click. I like a good click. It's okay. But no detent lash. Detent strength is about medium. I think, uh, Migron, if you're watching, I think these knives would do um, well with a slightly heavier detent. I think um, adding 15 to 20% or so uh, extra, you know, like, because there's plenty, especially off this flipper tab. This flipper tab is pretty big, right? The leverage that you can get from this is amazing. I think there's, and not, you know, I mean, there's one thing to be like, oh, well, you can swing it, it'll swing the blade. I can't even, I honestly can't even do it. It's plenty strong for that. It's the satisfaction when you pull this down and feel like the entirety of the energy that you intend to put into the flipper tab, the entirety of that is translating through to the blade. You get that satisfaction, right? That key, that you want a crisp break of the detent and then, you know, you want it to fling out into the open position as hard as you intended it to. When we have a lighter than, you know, what you assume is appropriate for the knife detent, this is just me, right? Other people might flip this and be like, oh, it's totally perfect. But I think these should be a bit heavier, 15 to 20% heavier, at least. Um, but it's good and it works. Obviously, you know, 
it doesn't take much, and it's going to uh, it's going to deploy. I think what's helping that versus some of the past models is um, that the action, the pivot smoothness, or just pivot cleanliness out of the box is much better. The action on these premium guys is very good. We have essentially fall shot action right out of the box. Still controlled enough that makes me believe that you know we're going to have a bit of a break-in period, which is what you want. You don't want it to be so loosey-goosey out of the box that when it breaks in, it gets floppy. Uh, the diamond texturing is perfect. This is so wonderful. Migron, this is so good. Absolutely wonderful. This is the kind of stuff that I love to see. I would not, I wouldn't change this texturing at all. They did it on both sides, the entirety of it. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I don't care what anybody says. I think a continuous micro texture pattern, especially when, especially diamond texture, I think that makes everything look better. I think this is infinitely better than a plain, smooth surface. This is great. It adds traction. Definitely more traction than uh, if it were just smooth titanium. But it's not so much that it's going to fray up your pants. This isn't aggressive. Um, I love this. I think this absolutely looks spectacular. That's just great. And then you can see it's outlined by the chamfer line. This is something... I remember talking about this like four years ago. I was like, why don't companies do this more often? Why do, I don't understand. Like It looks so good, right? We've obviously had companies do it since then, but... Uh, only recently have I seen it more often. This is, oh my gosh, it, I absolutely love this. Um, the texturing. The blade is great, uh, certainly functional. We have an, an aggressive curvature out towards the tip. Uh, really nice. S90V, fantastic stuff. If it's heat treated correctly, got to be hitting the appropriate range. I want to make sure that new people know. Uh here within the last I don't know how many long, like years five to ten years everything all production high end Chinese knives and a lot of American knives right and a bunch of other companies are just everybody's just using M390 that's what people want M390 right it's a good composition uh, across the board people seem to be heat treating it um, on average 59 to 61 which is just kind of barely hanging on to acceptable for part of it 59 is too soft in my opinion for M390. Yes, I know I'm talking about M390. Hold on a second. 60 is the beginning of acceptable. 61 is pretty good. 62 is really good, right? I think 60 to 62 is where some of these companies should be hitting it. Now they're changing. A lot of companies, including Migron, are changing to S90V, which I think is a good move. I think that's great. But it doesn't have the same optimal range. So if they're trying to hit this, number one, hitting it too low is one thing. But trying to copy paste and hit it 59, 61, just like M390, no. Absolutely not. That is way too low, in my opinion, for S90V. I have to say that because I'm not a metallurgist, right? Optimal range for S90V is even higher. So in my opinion, we should be hitting this at least 61, 63. That'll make it more brittle. Yeah, but S90V is not designed as a tough composition. It's designed as a composition that holds decently well, you know, in terms of toughness, continuous cutting, really great edge retention and very high corrosion resistance, right? A lot of these blade steels, their primary application was not folding knives. Their primary application was something else and they work really well as a knife blade when it's used correctly. So if you are looking for toughness and ease of sharpenability, S90, the, the answer is not make S90V softer. No, the answer is buy a different steel. The, steel, the composition and what it is meant to be good at, they just are that way. You can't just decide you want it to work differently because you have different needs. No, you get a different steel. S90V performs optimally when considering its primary application, and you can get that out of it, you know, in a folding knife, right? Uh, and, I mean, when we're talking about continuous cutting, right? You can, you can just apply it to a folding knife, and it'll work. But it should we should have that appropriate optimal range, right? Or you, you know, if you, if you're like, well, I need toughness and ease of sharpening. Okay. Then get like, you know, you need, you need 1095. <laughs> you're like, I don't care about corrosion resistance. I need, I don't care about edge retention. I just want it to be really tough and really easy to sharpen. You buy 1095. That's what you want. Crovan. Anyways. All right. Sorry. I'm getting rancy here. I don't know what these are heat treated at, but Miguron is, they have, uh, they're, they're circling, this is, a, this is a really cool design, I like it, I'm not going to say it's perfect, right, it's really, really good, 
execution of, you know, when it talks, when we're talking about the materials, right? The machining quality is off the charts. Very good. Very, very good. Their pricing, ridiculous. Awesome. Uh, I want them to check every box. So it might seem like I'm being overly critical, but it's like, I, I Migron's one of those companies that's just right there at the finish line, right? So I'm not going to just let them, you know, lay down and crawl over it like no you gotta yeah you gotta finish strong come on i'm gonna be critical because i want it to i want to see just an absolute banger of a design properly heat treated s90v right perfect fit and finish perfect everything i want to do that because when i i, I don't want to false celebrate it i want it to actually be amazing right it's my favorite stuff and they're they're fewer and further between, right? And I'm getting more critical as time progresses. This is very nice, though. First impressions, very, very nice. I'll link it down in the description. You guys can check it out if you want to. Uh, you'll get a full comprehensive review of this guy uh, a few weeks uh, down the road. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.